First time we used Intently, it was about five years ago. Um, we'd been around our mate's house, uh, came back from the pub. We'd had a few. But when I say a few, I mean... I mean, it got really silly. We even bought this bloke back, right, from the pub with this Hawaiian shirt on, this random dude, and we called him Hawaiian Mo. I don't even think he spoke English. I'll tell you what, though. My God, he could sing karaoke. Fast forward 8 minutes 25 seconds to be precise, we're in the middle of a solo from Freebird. Hawaiian Moe's already picked up the broom and he's rocking out the bass track to it. I don't know if you've ever played the guitar solo from Freebird, but it's not easy to do with your teeth on a tennis racket. Especially towards the end where it gets a little bit excitable. Needless to say, I broke it. That very same tennis racket was given to my girlfriend's grandfather by none other than Fred Perry himself. She was not happy. The next day didn't start well, so I also intently threw up Alexa Gizmo. Alexa, could you ask intently if they know of anyone near me who fixes vintage tennis rackets? Turns out there was. And within two hours, I had a knock on the door. Now this guy, I can only describe as a mix of legendary tennis player Boris Becker and some sort of moustache Jesus type, was standing there waiting to fix this tennis racket. So he came in, he took a quick glance at the racket, nodded his head, and before I'd even had a chance to put on a cup of tea, he had completely fixed the thing. He'd fixed it, he tested it. Now, when I say tested it, I mean really tested it. I don't know much about tennis, but he really tested that. And then he gave me a thumbs up, and then we both knew that that was my relationship saved. So thank you very much, Intently.